Hello everyone and welcome to our new lecture series regarding the CSI detail. Okay, this is the detailing software uh, which is developed by CSI, the same company that offer the ETABs. So it is quite handy when you model your structure in the ETAB, you can get those structures to here in CSI detail and you can produce the detailed drawings of the beams, columns, slabs, and the floors if you have any. So this is quite handy software and it's kind of a robust software. It is totally new. I am going to uh, tell you about CSI detail version 18. Okay, version 16 and 17 are quite uh, old. Now they are not uh, that much user friendly or you can say. So we are going to uh, learn the CSI detail version 18 with the ETAB version 18. Okay, you, both versions are latest at this time of recording. So let's start and our first video will be about the introduction to the ui how does the ui of csi detail looks like what are the function it provides and uh, what are the things that we are going to see onto our uh, screen so this is the csi detail uh, ui you can see and uh, i have already opened a drawing in it okay i have already opened uh, you can say a model here i have more, more, i have analy analyzed and designed this model in etabs earlier then i import it into the csi detail and a drawing is uh, has been drawn already a detailing has been done already why i have done it why i have uh, i have already opened a drawing it is because all these options in the files edit and view menu were inactive before opening the file so i want to make all this thing active and i want to uh, let you know how all these things work okay so let's start first of all we are having the menu bar here okay we are having a menu bar that is a file edit new detailing details drawing option and the help menu. on the help menu we are having csi detail help and about csi detail okay you can click the csi detail help and it will pop up a box same as to the other softwares it is having bunch of options in the left box that is before you begin what you want what you need to know there is this is the title bar this is the menu bar this is the to, uh, toolbar this thing is the detailed view and then the left we are having detailing explorer at the bottom we are having status bar okay this is all same as that of etab okay on design detailing option we are having the units concrete preferences and all the things you can also read out from here if you have any confusion on menus we are having file menu what you can do with the file what you can do with the edit with the detailing and all that i will uh, tell you about all this thing in this video that what file will do what edit will do and what all these functions will do okay this is currently offline it is uh, related here so it can be made online i'll close it so you can take the help from here if you're stuck somewhere so we'll start with the file and oh, sorry on the bottom we are having the toolbar okay the toolbar is having bunch of options that is opening new file opening drawing saving refreshing windows locking the drawing it is same as of etab when we uh, lock our model in this thing we can lock our detailing that the values won't change okay i can go to rubber band zoom zoom in zoom out options are there pan option rotate option okay uh, this is a show in csi detail viewer i'll make a total separate video in on it then we have edit view properties if i click edit view property we can edit the scale and the basic height of the text and all these things okay then we have the edit view text if i click it we can edit the view text and all in this tab okay then we have the print view then we have the export view we can print it export it okay we have the drawing sheet list if i click drawing we are having a bunch of drawing lists in this particular project okay you can uh, add a blank drawing sheet also okay you can delete the drawings you can rename the drawing you can add views to the drawing there will be a views up like plan and section and all that at last we are having print drawings and export drawing you can if i click export drawing i can export it to the dxf and the autocad formats that is dxf and the dwg formats and it will export it will ask if you want to uh, export all the sheets or the selected so you can just select the drawing that you need to export okay so these are quite handy features on the toolbar okay now this is the detailed explorer detailing explorer at uh, this start at the first time it will have the these three options that is component view imported views and drawing sheets 
okay drawing sheet there is a number 38 in front of drawing sheet it is saying that there are total number of 38 drawing sheets okay you need not to take all the sheets on the site or you need not to hand over all these sites to the uh, engineer in charge you need to assemble it okay these are just for your references but these are very helpful okay you can just copy paste from here so if i expand the drawing sheet option they are having a bunch of options also we will learn it one by one in the upcoming videos for right now you just have to uh, learn that the slab section that is concrete beam section column sections and the wall layouts all will be here if i click on wall elevation and section and if i click on uh, cw1 f1 elevation the wall will have an drawing on the right hand side you can zoom in and you can zoom out you can see the detail and all that okay so those all the things can be done from here i'll minimize it and at the bottom we are in the status bar it is saying ready that the uh, drawing is quite ready at this moment okay now we'll start with the uh, file menu and then we will move on to the other things i won't make this video longer i will cut it into two or three parts okay because the options are quite big so we can go into file and we say we are having a uh, bunch of options that is the new detailing if you want to start a new detailing you can click the new detailing but uh, if you click new detailing it will ask if you want to save the project that is open at this time you want to save this uh, project that is already open so at this moment i don't want to open so i'll just cancel it i'll go to open then we can open drawing this software saves the drawing in the other format okay so you can open that drawing also but before opening that you must have to close the current one you have a close object you can close this one you have save and save as option you can save this thing we are having save preferences if i click save you can see the extension is csi detail dot drg file this is a kind of new extension generated by our etabs okay so file then we are in the export option we can export the viewer and the rivet file for their detailing we have an option for upload to cloud viewer csi is having is cloud csi cloud you can also upload your files to there then we are having project information if i cl click project information there are client name that is what can be the client name by default it is csi detail user you can change it and you can write it anything like john and you can go into project name and you can uh, create g plus 7 story or you can write whatever you want okay on the project number you can say detailing 1 2 3 0 company name you can write any computer uh, name by default it is computer and structure inclusion you can write the engineer's name okay smith let's say who is the checker let's say this is again smith so you can do it like this okay so this is kind of project information that you can enter here then we have the project general notes project general notes means what the kind of uh, concrete strength you are using in it okay uh, what is the reinforcement strength okay that is the yield stress you are using in concrete column what is the concrete stress uh, strength okay so these are all the things that you can uh, define here Uh, we are having the clear cover for the column we are having the cover top cover bottom cover for our beam also okay so you can define all these things from here in this particular project that i i have opened uh, slab is not uh, here the slab was uh, not uh, modeled and designed in it up so the results of slabs are not here but uh, i have constructed a shear wall beams and columns so we will learn about uh, three of the six soon i will um, the, Uh, upload the video about slabs okay so this is our project project general log then we have the application logs in application log we have the data extraction log if i click it it will give it will pop out all the warnings at the time of opening okay and when i open this drawing it uh, gave me all this warning that a design strip result are not available this is the, this is this design strip relates to the slab so all the warnings will be here okay then we have on the application log general log if you click general log it will uh, write the log for this application at the time of opening this what uh, this application has done that it launches e tab why it launches tab it just because uh, the uh, model must have to be open first in e tab then it uh, imported it into the csi detail so uh, there are all the bunch of options here then there is an application log so show activity log this is a log which is generated at the time of opening that file 
when the file gets imported, these all the things are generated one by one. That is defining default views, defining a default local location. It was done at 0 0.16, 0 0.012. These all things are done in milliseconds. You can say microseconds. These are quite fast. In, you know? um, it will be quite useful when you think you have missed something. Okay, you can see that the 4CB1 elevation is there, 4CB1 section is there. Let's say the B is missing. Then you can relate it from there to where was the section B. Okay, so this is quite helpful. Then we have the exit option. We have the edit, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste that you only uh, already know. In view, we are having the rubber band zoom. If I click rubber band and if I drag over something like a rubber band, if I uh, drag over something and I left my mouse button, it will zoom in. Okay like this you can also zoom in zoom out from your scroll wheel on the mouse okay then we have the restore full zoom if i click restore full zoom it will restore these all the options have a shortcut in front of them you can see f2 sorry f2 f3 and all then we have the previous zoom previous zoom means the zoom that you have done previous okay if i click it previous zoom the previous zoom will come out okay then we have zoom in one step and zoom out in one step the shortcut is shift plus f2 and shift plus f3 if I click, because uh, my computer is having a function button, so it will become quite complex for me. So I'll hit Shift and F3. Okay, Shift, and you can go here and you can see Shift plus F2. Okay, so you can just zoom in and zoom out. Okay, zoom in and zoom out. F3, Shift plus F3, zoom out. Shift plus F3, zoom in. Those. Uh, uh, People who are having the function option, you must have to uh, hold three keys together. That is the function key, shift key, and then F2 to zoom in and F3 to zoom out. Okay, this is kind of complete. Instead of this, you can just use the mouse scroll wheel to go in and out. Okay, then we have the pan option F10. You can also get the pan from here, from the toolbar. Okay, and you can pan it here and there. Okay. We have the refresh window option, same as of ETABs. We have the refresh view. Then we have the show in CSI detail viewer. This is the most powerful thing in the uh, detailing software. We'll make a separate video for it. And I will tell you all about these things. Then we have the detailing options. We, we can change a variety of options in this detailing, okay? Like the detailing units, rebar sizes, concrete detailing preferences, and all that. Okay, I will explain all this thing in upcoming videos. Then we have the uh, details regarding concrete display preferences and the steel display preferences, how we want to display it. Okay, then we have all the bunch of options about drawing, like adding a drawing, deleting a drawing, editing that drawing. We have the options to customize the toolbar. Okay, so we can reset the default toolbar if you have changed something. And at last we have again the help. So this is quite the UI that you can use. Okay, you can uh, move here and there the pan can uh, also be activated by pressing the middle scroll bar okay we are having a left mouse button right mouse button and then we have the scroll bar so scroll bar is our third switch you can say by clicking that uh, scroll bar you can move your drawing here and there okay if uh, you uh, left click you can cover anything okay if you want to cover something and all that okay if you click right, it will give you the bunch of options on the drawing that add views to drawing, add out our range and all. If I click on one drawing, I can move this drawing here and there. Okay, if, you have, if I just click on this drawing, it will be selected. And by pressing the middle scroll bar, you can move it here and there. Sorry, not by the uh, wheel bar, but just by the left bar. You can select it and you can take it here and there. It is having a snapping option. You can see these are the red lines around it. So it can get snap anywhere if you want to. So if you want to, let's say, switch these both the drawings, you can do it by this. Okay. So this is quite handy feature. This was not present in the earlier version. Then we having the title block here. Okay. I will tell you how you can uh, edit all these things. Okay. There is symmetric drawings, not for construction and all this. Thing. You can also give, uh, insert your own title block if you want to. I'll also show you that in upcoming videos. Okay. So this was the main area that we are doing. We can have two or more op windows open here, just like you type like after clicking this, I can click add new drawing and I can add a new drawing. It's a new model view. I can go to drawing sheet and I let's say open a beam elevation. Okay. So now this is a beam elevation. So simultaneously we can open 
a bunch of windows okay we can adjust the drawings however we want okay and if we want to export it we can right click and we can click export view we can export it to dxf or the dwg okay so this was the ui in the upcoming next video i will tell you about what this detailing details and drawing and options function are going to do thanks for watching this video please try all these things by yourself and familiarize your yourself um, through the etabs ui okay so see you in the next video bye bye